In this lesson I will show you what means MT4 account history and what you can find inside that account history, how to find it and also how to download it so you can make a filter and make the analysis on your trading results. First you need to log in into MT4 trading platform and then when you have it in front of you you need to go to the terminal tab where the trade tab is open where the account balance is located. After that, you need to go to the account history where all your trades that are closed are located. So, what you will see here? Uh, you will see MT4 account history with all transactions you have made. So, with account trading history, you can see what is total profit or loss on your trading account. And you can download the account history and show it on the chart. At the beginning, let's see what you have here in the account history tab. You have several rows and also you have several columns. Each column represents something. Let's start from the left to the right. In the first column you have order. This is the order number which is unique for each order you open. So the, you cannot have two same rows with the same order ID. Then you have a time when you have opened the order. So, for example, this order is open on 14th of July 2022. And then you have type, which represents have you open sell or buy order. In this case, I have all sell orders. Then you have column size. In the size column, you have lot size or the volume you have used in that trade. Then the symbol. Symbol is the symbol of the trading pair or the currency pair you have traded, for example Euro USD. Then you have price column. Price represents the price at which you have opened the order. Stop loss is self-explanatory, take profit the same way, so it is the price you have closed the trade. If you have used stop loss on a specific order, for example in, in this case, if you have stop loss activated, this will be red colored. If, he, if you have used take profit and the trade has closed with the take profit level, this will be green colored. Then you have a time, this is a second column time, as you have seen it here. The second one is represents the time when the order is closed. The price represents the price which the trade has been closed. And then you have a swap, this is the amount for the overnight trading. Then you have a profit, which represents how much money you have made or lose on specific trade. In this case, you, you can see here small loss and here you have profit taken on this trade. So at the end, you have a total amount of the profit or loss you have made. Let's move forward. So what you can see here is the number of trades you have. For example, if you see that there are no enough rows here, for example, you know that you had so many trades and the list here that shows you doesn't show all of them, that means maybe you have the trades hidden, which is a normal thing. So if you want to show all trades, you can do that just by clicking the red mouse button here and then you have several options. First option tells you show me the whole history and that means showing all history for this trading account from the start until the end. So it means you can show trading history for one year, two years and so on. So if I click this, if there is any hidden trades, they will be shown here. In my case, I do not have more trades than this, so this option has not given me anything more. So this means the whole account history was here visible. Then you have an option, use the last three months. That means you can show here the last three months transactions. Then you have a last month. It means you can show here last month transaction. And then you can use a custom period. You can have here from up to the dates where you can enter and show the account history so you can see specific trading period if you did that. Then what you have else is save 
as a report or save as detail report. You can download and export transaction history by using these two reports. First report is a save as a report which shows you a report without the chart. If you want to save it, just click on the save button, save a report and then select on the PC where is the location you want to save this. Click the save after you have found, I will replace the current one and after a few seconds the report will open in the web browser. You can see here, this is the account history without chart. So it is a simple report where you have all these transactions and also working orders and open trades. Now there is a second option also what you have seen and that is save as detail report. This report gives you a little bit more details about the trading history and when I save this the steps are the same as in the previous step. Click the save, I will replace this one and then you can see here what we have. We have additionally below the chart and also a little bit, little bit more details about absolute drawdown, maximal drawdown, gross loss, gross profit and you have here total trades 13, all of them were short which means sell trades and profit trades were 7 of 13. Okay, so when you get this detailed report you can save this report into Excel and there are two ways how you can do that. The first one is the easiest one, just select all what you can, you, you can see here and then click right mouse button and click copy. Then open the Excel file, open the empty Excel file and then, sorry I will make this a little bit easier, so you can see, it, see the whole file, just a minute then click here in the first column in the cell and click paste. When you do that you will see that you have all the data here from the web browser. You can move this chart where you want to have and then if you have lots of trades you can make the filters. Simply go here, sorry here, make the filter and then you can select whatever you want. You can analyze specific time period, you can select only the sell trades and everything else that is available here. So this is the first way how you can download the data from the account history from MetaTrader 4 to the Excel file. Then there is a second way how you can download the account history to the Excel file. Let's see how to make that happen. First go to the account history and click the save as detail report or report, whatever you want. If you want to have a chart then you could use this one. Save as a detail report and then do not save immediately as a HTM file but click all files and then change the file extension and put XLS and click the save button. If you have already the old one just click the replace and then the Excel will open, click yes to open the file and you can see here you have also the trading history from the NT4 to the Excel file. It is a little bit different than the previous when we have copy paste. Here you do not have the cells grid but you can change that on your own. Then again you can make the filters on these trades and you can make the analysis in a way you want. So it is a simple process where you can download the trading history. Another question that many people ask is, is it possible to delete the trading history from the account? No, it's not possible because the broker doesn't allow you. You can see that there is no options to delete this trading history and also the broker should not delete your trading history because if they want to follow the legal requirements they are not allowed to delete accounts history. If you want to have empty trading history you will need to open another account, is demo account or live account. 
Then there is a possibility to show more columns here than you have currently and this is by using this option. You have another three options and that is to show commissions. Here it is. This is the column. Then you have taxes. This is the column and then you have comments. Comments section. So you can have all these columns if you want just by clicking here next to each of these options. Then you have a grid which you can remove or you can have it. It depends on you and your specific desire to have it or not. So this is the lesson about the account history. Now you can see what you can have in this account history and how you can download to the Excel the statement or report to your PC so you can analyze and make the filters on these trades because most of the time you have time period or you have specific symbol or you have specific type of order that you want to analyze. So this is really helpful for you if you want to make the analysis. If you like this video, click the like button and subscribe. See you next time and happy trading!